Hi, welcome to tutorials. Uh, today we are going to discuss how to download and install SD Kepper App Engine. Okay. So why you are you want to use for App Engine means if you want to host your applications, what are the applications you want to host in Google Cloud platforms? So it will require this App Engine. So with the help of App Engine, you can deploy your applications into Google Cloud platform. Okay. So that's why you require Google App Engine SDK. So what are the language it will support means Java, okay, Java, Python and PHP and I have downloaded already. If you want to just click on this, it will download one exe file and go to download folder. Just click on here. Run. Okay. Next. Agree. Just click on single user. Next. Okay. It is showing us this one. Just copy the folder where it will uh, you can see the results once it has downloaded just click on next okay next if you can see details here just go to that path let me check once whether it is uh, downloading or not downloading google cloud sdk core let me check this one okay Cloud SDK, it is downloading Google Cloud SDK. See everything it has showing extracting Google Cloud SDK core. Let's go to Mac Google SDK core. This one is a core, actually, this folder Cloud SDK. Okay, let me check once. This is a folder, remember, save this path. Okay. it will take some time installing the component see cloud environment it is showing welcome to the google cloud sdk here it is downloaded cloud environment so that's what it is going welcome to the cloud google cloud sdk in this path it is showing it will take some time okay let's uh, check once See, it is showing everything. See, it is unzipping file, big query command and tool. Okay, let me drag here cloud tools for PowerShell, command tool for Power Platform specific, default set of uh, cloud commands, Windows command line SSH tool for the latest full release notes. Please visit this one creating update staging areas. The staging areas, everything it is giving. Okay, don't worry, we will see a step by step video. Okay, in next lesson, we will see how to create app in Google Cloud Platforms. Okay, in next lesson, we will see. Let me complete this first, then uh, we will see in next lesson. See, it is giving everything, every data it is giving. Cloud is the core libraries, storage command line tools, everything it is showing. It will take some time, okay? Don't in a hurry, hurry. By this, you will get a one tool that is a Google Cloud SDK. So when you open this one, you will get different different options. Just you need to check that uh, different different files it will allowing. So that's a uh, download that file also. In next lesson, one by one we can see. <coughs> it will take some times for downloading staging environment I have, I have clicked for three uh, what we call three options in my previous steps okay that's why it is taking some time backup activity new installations windows command line ssh tool default set of g cloud commands cloud tools for powershell cloud storage command line tools so everything it is downloading And it is giving the release dates also. It is giving the dates, versions, and size. Less than uh, MBs also. See, not nothing is a GB. This is giving the MBs. 
Well, like this you can uh, download your cloud, Google Cloud Platform. So in next lesson we will see introduction of this cloud, Google Cloud Platforms and how you can use this one. See, it is downloading. Click on next, create start menu, create desktop, create start Google Cloud SDK shell, run instead configure SDK. Just click on finish, it will open. See, it is opening. Checking network connections, everything network diagnostic, it takes fixes. You can skip diagnostic. You must log into continue. Would you like to log in? Click on yes. Just click on yes. Okay. It will ask you to log in. You can log in this one if you have any. Okay, it is showing us hello. Just click on hello. So I have downloaded Python. So let me I need to install this Python also. So is authenticated with Google Cloud SDK information command line tools and libraries. So this all we'll discuss in next lesson. Okay. Yeah, thank you thank you for watching my video here it's an api project channel follower general in analyzer okay the next lesson we will discuss this we will get more knowledge on about this okay, thank you thank you for watching my video